most important and sometimes hard to grasp concepts of using CSS is the box model. I want to take a look here. This is one of my favorite ways. I'm using the tool in Firefox that shows you what I'm working with here. So I was on my page and this is what the page looks like and then I'm opening up the inspect element option which I love as a way to demonstrate the box model. So all I have in here is a h1 tag and a couple of blank paragraph lines. So let's look at the code quickly. So this is my web page. It's very simple. So I've got my HTML document and in the head section I've just built the CSS in here. So I've got my title which I don't really care about. But this is what's really setting everything. I've set my font size for my H1 tag and in the H1 tag you can see here all I have for the body are two empty blank lines and I have my H1 tag which just says content. So this is showing you that I've set my font size of the content here which is two M's then I have done a text line of center and then I've done padding of 10 pixels. It actually grows larger if there's nothing else in the page um, so that it won't have anything if there's nothing to the left or the right, it just expands to take the whole area. So that's not quite as important here, but setting the padding and it's setting the border. And the confusing thing to most people is which is the padding, which is the border, what are we looking at? So here we're going to look at, this is my content in the middle here. I've set a padding of 10 pixels, and you can see the padding is between the content and the border. The border is three pixels solid and that's just the color code for it. So we've got our content, 10 pixels of padding the whole way, whole way around, a three pixel border, and then a 15 pixel margin that surrounds it that would buffer it between anything else that we put whatever the next element is. So always remember that it's content, between content and the border is the padding, then the border, than the margin. And those are different ways to control the spacing between elements. And I usually use this a lot, especially in the div tags or around image tags to make space. Um, with image tags, I really like to set at least a five pixel padding to make sure that everything's going to be a, a little further away. I do decide to use a if I do decide to use a border on an image, I'll usually skip the padding and put the spacing between the border and the margin so that you'll it'll give a margin to put spacing between the border and the next item on the page. So that's just a little basic explanation of the box model.